The very first definite step was, was when I was still at school. They had a frightfully good thing that when you'd finished you know, general school certificate, you usually had about two weeks at the end of term, which was kind of dead time. And I immediately went to the Oxford Playhouse, where indeed I got a job, which was for, uh, for two weeks, to be in uh, The Happiest Days of Your Life play the Scots girl, you know, Elizabeth Cahoon. And this was immediately trodden on and I wasn't allowed to do it. So then, uh, then I decided to go to drama school. I mean, I'd made up my mind to do that anyway before I left school. And they started a drama school in Oxford where I lived. And uh, it was attached at that time to the playhouse. And I went there for, for two years. I wanted very much to go to RADA. I mean, it was everybody's dream to go to RADA, and my parents, I suppose, quite rightly, didn't want me to go to London uh, when I was 16 and live on my own. And from drama school, you went uh, where? When I was at the Playhouse, I used to work in, in university productions because they did an awful lot of them there. And they did lots of cabarets and reviews, and they were all sort of run by Ned Sherin from O'Donovan, people like that. And I, I did those endlessly. And, you know, if you, if you were bright enough at Oxford, you could almost do weekly rep round the colleges. You could get enough productions to do a term to keep you very busy. And you were playing light parts, comedy parts? Yes, always. Review. I was always, always, always in review and cabaret. 